Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I am Jason, your host, and we are just about to go to town. I want to go and pick up a few treats for the dogs. They've been very good while I've been doing lots of bits and pieces and had to go to town and that. And I thought I could go on Amazon.co.uk, I could just order some items to be delivered tomorrow, or I could get on my mobility scooter and I could go for a little wander and go up to the local Tesco and do it in person and I think yes that's the thing so I'm going to just move this round right so if I put you around here I Position you there so you can see what's going on. There, we'll have a little wander up a few streets and hopefully end up at Tesco. I'm not always certain where I'll end up because that's the beauty of being free to leave the house now. It's um, Kind of splendiferous. Now, this side of the road doesn't have very good crossing ability, so let's get across this side of the road. Right, this side of the road is much better. Here. Yeah, so when I'm on the Queen Road now, I don't have it on um, half power, even when I'm on here on the pavement, because I can happily change what the way I'm doing things. Um, it actually makes it easier to actually ride the Queen Go on. <laughs> You see, when I've got it on half power, the throttle lever has to be pulled all the way back to go at four mile an hour, or just a little bit above four mile an hour. When it's on full power, you barely have to just touch it slightly with one fingertips to get it to four mile an hour. And as long as you're getting used to it and you know what you're doing, it's a lot more comfortable. I haven't got to pull up, pull it back and press it up against the limiter to get it working. So in a long journey it actually is more comfortable. Let's go across here. Get inside here. Yeah. And go through the park. And also makes it easier to use when I'm just basically touching the controls. So 
So today's the day when everybody's out voting for who they want in. I, I, I voted via post. I've always had the postal vote because of um, being disabled. I had that all set up a long time ago for, for me, for Paola. So that was the norm for me. Um, so I think a lot of people are voting for change this time. I think none of us actually believe everything that people are saying or what will happen. But we go this way. We know that leaving the Tories in government is a bad thing. They've had 14 years and everything's got worse. And we can't blame them for everything. I mean, we have had a pandemic and everything, so but they haven't made things better and they haven't put communities first. They have definitely been putting money into the pockets of their friends and the rich people. The rich have got richer, the poor have got poorer. So yeah. I'm just gonna go around this side of it. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I'm in no rush. I just felt a bit restless in the house. I've been working in the house all week trying to get together all the rubbish and everything. And so we've just, I just needed to be outside. We are doing what we can with what we got, as the great Gummer would say. After all, let's not forget, it was the Tories that basically lied through their ass and caused us to exit the EU and I don't think there's anyone anyone in the UK who believes that we're better off now we have lost out so much we were a founding many member of the EU We had the full trade system. We, we were in a massively wonderful position. Leaving the EU was a really bad thing. Now, I will fully admit right now, I voted to leave. How were voted to leave? Because we were lied to. We found out we were so badly, we were lied to by the politicians, the the stuff that they said that we would gain, the stuff that they said that we were, would lose if we stayed in the EU. Their entire campaign was a complete lie, lie. If we had known the truth, we wouldn't have left. I definitely wouldn't have voted, I know Paula wouldn't have voted to leave. I made a mistake. Because they told us that we would gain back all our freedoms, that we would save £350 million a week. 
that could be put into the National Health Service instead of sending it to the EU. That all these lies that they made up, that they said, that would prove to be false. Our education system would be better because we would be disconnected and we wouldn't be told what to do by Brussels and so on and so forth. And so we were put in a situation where a lot of the country was duped. So yeah. What can we do? Now we've got to just grin and bear it. <laughs> okay, so this is Jason for the Club Channel. I'm going to cancel the um, vlog and do another one.